I'm Becky Campbell and welcome back to News You Can Use Video Digest. On June 22nd, Hawaii Governor David Ige signed three bills amending state lobbying and ethics laws that double the maximum administrative fine the State Ethics Commission may impose for violations of ethics or lobbying laws, amends various lobbying-related definitions, allows a former lobbyist employer to file a notice of termination when a lobbyist fails to do so, and clarifies lobbyist reporting requirements related to special legislative sessions. South Dakota Representative Don Hager resigned his District 10 seat to become the director for the state's chapter of Americans for Prosperity. Hager's resignation comes days before a new state law takes effect that would require him to wait two years before becoming a lobbyist. The vacancy will be filled by gubernatorial appointment. San Jose City Council voted unanimously to reject a change to the city's gift ordinance, increasing the gift limit from $50 to $470. The $50 limit will remain in place, however, the council will consider raising it to $250 in August. The council also voted to approve an ordinance to amend lobbying reporting requirements to require lobbyists to file a report with the city clerk each week they engage in lobbying activity in the city. In Sessions and Elections news, a special election will be called in Massachusetts for the first Berkshire state representative seat to replace Representative Gail Caridi. Representative Caridi, who was in her fourth term, passed away. The New York City 2017 legislative session adjourned shortly before midnight on June 21st. Lawmakers adjourned without a deal to extend Mayor Bill de Blasio's control over the city's schools. The current agreement lapses on June 30th. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds called a special election for House District 82 to fill the vacancy left by the passing of State Rep. Kurt Hansen. Hansen was serving his fifth term when he lost his battle with cancer. The special election has been set for August 8th. And on June 26th, the West Virginia Legislature adjourned its special session. Lawmakers approved a budget after months of debate to resolve a $500 million shortfall in the 2018 fiscal year budget. And finally, happy birthday to state and federal communications as we celebrate our 24th year on July 1st. We're excited to reach this impressive milestone as the leading source in government relations compliance. Congratulations to Elizabeth and the entire staff. That's all the news we have for this week. We'll be taking a break for the holiday, so if you need to catch up on your government relations news, check out our blog, Lobby we'll Comply in the meantime. I'm Becky Campbell, and from everyone here at State and Federal Communications, we wish you a happy Independence Day, and we'll see you in July.